to YouTube. This is MB. Today we will talk about Python resource management. How are you going to manage resources? This will be extremely useful for you if you are handling uh, or dealing with text files, especially or some kind of connections uh, to the database. You are creating connections, closing them, uh, and opening them. You're trying to uh, deal with some resources, and some of the actions has to happen every time you do something. In those kind of scenarios, we will use them, use these extensively. So let's go ahead and create a new file here. I'll say context.py. Uh, so I created here, then I will say create a file if not present. Let's say you're trying to do something, you're trying to uh, write uh, to a text file. And you want to create it if it is not there. And text name will be this, right? Now, open file underscore name w plus, and then we have f dot close. As you can see, the first is just a file name, and here. When you say open file name, it will create this file if it, if it doesn't exist. Uh, and if it exists, it will just open it in W plus mode. That is right, right? Then, hmm, then we'll do the next action. That's about opening the file. Then we'll say open file underscore name. And then we'll say F equals open file underscore name. A plus, that is append plus, right? That is, I will tell you what this plus means, you know, what is, what are the different modes which are there? Open file in append mode, right? Then I will say f dot write. I'll say Python rules. F dot close, save. And I will run this. It said finished. As you can see, my file dot and I opened here, and you can see that the text is Python rules. That's what it says here, Python rules. Now, um, what are the different modes here? Let's talk about different modes. Now, what we have here is W is different modes are these let me just here these are the different modes uh, w is write mode r read mode a is append mode plus uh, to any of these that is to any of the above means open them in that mode and create file if it is not present right so w write mode read mode a append mode w plus create file if it doesn't exist and open it in write mode uh, R plus means create file if it doesn't exist and open it in read mode. A plus create file if it doesn't exist and open it in append mode. Right, so that's what we have here. Save it. And now let's uh, do a little bit more. That is F equals open file through name in append mode, right? A open file in end mode, right? Then we will say try. We have already covered try doing this. That is rules end. And finally, Uh, f dot close right so yes it finished open it here say python rules python rules right so it wrote uh, the second line right after the first line that's okay we just want to uh, write stuff and see how it goes our motto is not to write it pretty we're trying to do something else here that is check out context management or resource management.
So context managers allow you to lock unlock resources like a file database connection etc uh, this is mostly implemented as a class in many of the scenarios or you can also use a library called context lib let's check out uh, how to implement this as a class i will say resources a resource object and i'll say define init as define enter pass we will say um, opens the file right then we will what we will do here is define exit self and then we'll say pass so this is a bare bone structure uh, whenever you uh, run this or run the implementation of this initially you know if this will run this will run all these three will run now let's um, implement this uh, I have something here for you all right I've always a bare bone structure of a context manager class which you want to start with right so the goal is to make sure the file is closed once the once the task is done, uh, the same can be done easily by using with. So this is what I said. So let's uh, do this with open file underscore name w plus. Oops, what did I do? W plus and as f and print f dot closed and then f dot write i'll say i rule then i'll say print again f dot closed I want to say print again, but this time outside of that width loop. Outside of this width context management, I will, I want to print whether the, this F is closed or not. And what is F? Well, we have already kind of defined here. What is F? This is F. Well, for the sake of it, let me put this here so that you won't miss out on this. All right, so when I do this, there's false. That means uh, f dot closed. That is false. That means it is not closed. This file is not closed. Here I wrote stuff. Again, it says false. Here that because file is not closed. But here, outside of this width, it says file is closed. Right. Very simple. So let's say you are you have a database and you wanna or a uh, execute a query you include that query here and when you come out of this width the database is open and closed and your query is run you don't have to open connection then close no but that is kind of not how you do it with the database with the database you usually implement a class but with file you can do this so let's check out how to implement this uh, class here for context management all right so what we have here is we i will say self and i want to pass a file name i will say a method what method i want to open it as a plus w plus r plus etc self dot file name equals file name self dot method equals method 
and I will say self.f equals open self dot file name self dot method right and return self dot f what does it do it opens the file right that's what it does here exit exit statement is going to be self dot f dot close that is I'm closing the file close the file return true because the file is closed right save I'm going to do this here comment this out that is control forward slash there's p it says finished all right but let me see what happened here with my file uh, okay i will in this as my file that is a class with my file file underscore name is the name of the file that we have defined on the very top and as my, as pi file then i'll say pi file dot write a so then i want to say print pi mm, file dot post So the file is closed, which means no errors heard. Right? It's control S say control B takes one personal argument. Hmm, I think I had to give it Okay, let me see. Exit takes one positional argument and I have not given oh of course of course. Self uh, I have to say type what type it is value I'll just say value here and I'll say trace back all right it said true and that means this file is closed but if I put a comment here well let me check out the file it says hey that means it worked so it opened the file here uh, when I ran this it opened this particular file, right? Uh, it initiated the file name with this one and uh, the method as w. Uh, this particular definition or uh, function opened or uh, entered or uh, opened the file. As you can see, opened the file and did whatever activity that I had to do in between. And at the end, it ran this particular definition of this class which closes the connection so whatever that you type here whatever that you want to do here will be done at the end of whatever that you wanted to do this so this is how you implement a class as for context management but if you want to get more pythonic you can use context manager as a generator that is from context lib import context manager right and i will say at context manager define my file uh some name right now i will give some let me first comment this stuff out All right control forward slash okay name then I will say try because I want to include some error handling here. Open name and um, W plus and yield. We have already covered yield, print, and return. If you want, you can go back and check those videos with my file file underscore name sf f dot write hey right so this is what we have uh, or i'm gonna say ambi 
right and then i will say print after i closed because i want to know whether at the end it actually closes the buff right control b and it said true then let me see whether it wrote well, okay so that's what happened it opened whenever you say w plus right uh if the file is whenever you're opening the existing file w plus uh, it overwrites it let me run it again and you will see right f dot right and i will say i'm big this time b so that's what happens whenever you say w plus or w it the file itself will be there but the content will be overwritten it will start all over again it will wipe the slate clean and it will start all over right that is why you open the uh, for any file uh, first time with w or you create a file and then whenever you want to add some stuff to text uh, add some text to it or whatever then you use the a append method a plus or you can directly use a plus it will create a file if it doesn't exist and it will open it in append mode so that is what we have you can use this method of uh, setup and tear down of resources when you are dealing with databases uh, let us say you have to run some commands against a database the procedure involves at least three steps uh, connect to database uh, run commands uh, second step third step close connection to database then using context managers you can save a lot of code time and be efficient by offloading the step one and step three to context manager so that whenever you do step two the context manager will do the step one and step three for you right this is what i said if you right so that is all we had for context management share subscribe like dislike comment thank you for tuning in you have a great one. Bye.